What's up guys, it's Alex here, your friendly reef dog. And today I'm gonna to tell you about the Reef Factory pH meter. Now I didn't buy this, it was sent to me for free by Coral Compass, so thanks very much to them. And I've only had it for about three weeks, so this is my first impressions, but I'll come back when I've had it for a bit longer to give you my long-term thoughts. Now, if it's your first time here at the channel, I put out a video every week with tips on how to set up and maintain an awesome reef tank. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on anything. Right, let's get stuck in. Now Reef Factory is a new company to the hobby so I'll start by telling you a bit about them. They make a range of smart aquarium equipment to control and monitor your saltwater aquarium. But they have a different approach to the current control companies like GHL and Neptune. Both of those companies rely on a single device to control all of your aquarium equipment, from your heaters to your dosing pumps to your lights and water pumps. But Reef Factory doesn't rely on a central computer. Each Reef Factory device has its own Wi-Fi connection so there's no single point of failure. That also means you can pick and choose what monitoring equipment you want to buy. So if you want to measure pH and control temperature, but you don't care about salinity, you just buy the pH and temperature units, which means you don't have to shell out several hundred pounds to get started. You can just buy one item and buy the next when you need it or can afford it. And you'll only pay for the things you want rather than being tied into the full bundle of equipment other companies package together. The downside is that it will probably work out more expensive than its rivals if you spec it like for like with Neptune and GHL, and you'll also need more plug sockets because each device has its own power supply, so you'll need to think about what your priorities are and which option fits for you. All Reef Factory kit is controlled by a single app called Smart Reef. I've been using the app for about two months now and for me it is the most impressive part. It's really easy to use, displays all your data for every refactory device you have, it tracks and records historical data, and it sends you notifications by text, email, or straight to your phone if your parameters are outside of your desired levels. You can also log in anywhere in the world using your online refactory account to see how your tank is doing. So what about the pH meter then? As you've probably guessed, it is a device that constantly measures and records the pH in your aquarium. If you're setting up your first tank, this is firmly in the nice to have category rather than essential. But BRS TV has done a lot of work lately to highlight the benefits of correctly managed pH. In short, they say your stony corals will grow up to 50% quicker if you keep your pH at the correct level. Now, pH changes constantly throughout the day, so it's not something you can just test for once a week, like with most parameters. And it will usually dip overnight, so if you want to measure it, it's important to track it properly. pH is also an indicator of your alkalinity level, so if your pH meter is reading particularly low, you also know that your alkalinity needs attention. And given that alkalinity is the most important parameter to constantly monitor in a reef tank, getting alerts when your KH is too low is a really handy side benefit of measuring pH. In the box you get a quick start guide, a pH probe, the power supply, a probe mounting bracket and a physical display. I love that Refactory kit comes with its own LCD display. So far I have two Refactory displays, including one to show my tank temperature. It's really handy having the display sat in my cabinet, and if it weren't for Mrs. Reef Talk, I'd have them permanently on display outside of my cabinet. The pH meter is dead easy to set up following the quick start guide. For me, the gold standard of being able to set up is doing so without looking at the instructions. Now I tried that but failed, so it's not perfect. But it's as easy as you can get beyond that and only takes 5 minutes, so I'm not complaining, particularly given the faff you have to go through with most aquarium apps. Mine didn't come with calibration fluid, but I'm told that's now changed, so if you buy one from now on, they will come packaged. Calibration is simple. You just select calibrate from the home screen, dry off the probe, then dip it in the first pH fluid, then the second. Although unusually it calibrates with pH 4 and 7 fluid instead of 7 and 10. Given that the pH in your tank is likely to be between 7 and 10, I do wonder if the lower calibration points makes it slightly less accurate. Although I asked Refactory why they do it that way, and they said it's changing to 7 to 10 soon. For what it's worth, the pH meter was broadly similar to what my Senai pH meter was reading, and I'd expect a pH probe to be more accurate than a disposable slide that comes with the Senai. Now I'll calibrate the probe about once a month to see how it goes. Calibration only takes 3 minutes from start to finish, and the calibration sachets are around a pound each, so it's no biggie. And I'll let you know how well it holds calibration when I come back for my long term review. Once it's calibrated, you fix the probe to the bracket and place it in your sump. You can then monitor your pH either with the classy LCD display or via the app or web browser. The app and browser share the same clean and simple layout, and all of the information is nicely laid out, including your current pH value and your low and high alert settings. 
Now the alert settings are particularly handy. You can set it to send you a notification to your phone or a text or an email to tell you when your pH is too high or more importantly too low. There's also a history chart where you can see how your pH has changed over the course of 24 hours, a week, a month and so on. And that's the real value in being able to monitor and track pH. You can see the difference from daytime to nighttime as your corals stop photosynthesizing and so carbon dioxide builds up. And you can search back further to see how your pH has changed from week to week and month to month. So if you're getting a big swing, or if your pH is lower than the ideal range of 8.1 to 8.4, you can take action to correct it. I find the data really interesting, and it's given me a nice insight into my tank. Most interestingly for me, I found there was no noticeable difference to my pH if I had my living room window open or closed. Ever since BRS said opening a window can make a big difference, I've had the window open at every opportunity. But thanks to the pH meter, I now don't bother with that, much to my cat's disappointment. Now the refactory pH meter costs £230, which on the face of it is quite expensive. But there's no cheaper way I can find to constantly measure pH. Other devices from GHL, Senai and Neptune all measure other things as well as pH and cost more money. And they all have inferior software that's far less accessible than the excellent Smart Revamp. Now in the month I've had it, I haven't really found anything I don't like about the meter itself, but I do think the software could be even better with a few advances. With some other pH charts like those by Neptune and Senai, you can move your mouse anywhere across the screen and it tells you each recorded measurement. Whereas with the Refactory app, you have to hover your mouse over each data point to see the result, so it makes scanning through your history a little less smooth. And there's no home button on the app that takes you back to the current values page. So you have to select the tab in the top corner, then change it to current values. Now they're pretty minor points, but the Smart Reef app is so good that I'm holding it to a higher standard than I would with other brands. And I think it could be something really special. I'd also like to see groupings of the pH data, maybe reports for daytime and nighttime averages, the swing over a 24 hour period, and trends over longer periods of time. That's bonus territory though, and you can see all of that by scrolling through. I just feel like additional reports would take the app to the next level. All in all though, it's another good bit of kit from Refactory, and it's totally beginner friendly, which I personally don't think can be said of its main competitors. Now it's early days, and these are only my first impressions, but I'm excited to see more of their stuff. They've just released an awesome looking dosing pump and KH monitor, and they have a salinity monitor in the pipeline too, as well as many other smart devices. The KH monitor in particular looks fantastic, and the dosing pumps are a nice compact size that look really good quality. So check out the Refactory Facebook page for more details. So those are my first impressions of the Refactory pH meter. Now what you really want to know with a pH meter is how accurate it is and how well it holds calibration. So I'll come back in a few months time when I've had it a bit longer and I'll do a long term review. If you enjoyed the video then give me a thumbs up and subscribe for next week and until next time, happy reefing.